Welcome. All right, so here we go. We have y equals ln of x raised to the fifth. And a lot of students hate natural logarithms because they just don't see that base. And they say, and they know the base is e, or sometimes they forget the base e, but then they're like, you know, what does this number e represent? And I have a video for e, um, you know, to go through. But the main important thing you just need to understand when we're dealing with natural logarithmic equations, that our base is going to be e. But it's always going to be e for natural logarithms. So we're don't, not always going to write it out. Now I look at this and I see that there's no transformations, but I have my variable being divided by 5, which is very odd in comparison to some of the problems that we've been going through. So if I was going to graph this, again, what I would do is I'd just set up an x, xy coordinate, and then I'd set up an xy table. Now just like I've done for my other problems, I am going to take my parent graph, y equals ln of x to the fifth, and I'm going to rewrite it in exponential form. So there would be e to the y equals um, e to the y equals e to the y equals x over 5. Now, ladies and gentlemen, when we're dealing with e, it's going to be a little bit more difficult than just saying, oh, you know, I want to have these integers because we understand e is an irrational number. So I can multiply by 5, and therefore my x values are going to equal 5 times e to the y. All right? And so when we're looking at this, you know, it kind of gets a little crazy. We're just going to want to choose some values, and then we're just going to approximate those values as best we can, um, and approximate those values as best we can to be able to at least uh, set up some graphs. Now, there is one point that we can always choose that's going to be the best is when our x is going to equal um, at least what our base is. And what you can see is if I had y equal to 0, right, then that would be e to the 0, which would be 1. 1 times 5 would just be 5. So therefore, I know when x equals 5, remember, I always said what our base is. Um, and we can eliminate with that e to the 0 when, e equal, or when y equals 0. So I know I have one coordinate point, which is um, 5 comma 0. But there's another kind of point that I need to be able to figure out of what it's going to look like. So 5 comma 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But now I need to go ahead and determine, you know, what else, um, what other point can I go ahead and use um, for there? And, you know, you can just pick any real point that you want to. Um, we don't need to get crazy. And you can just plug it into the equation. What about, let's just try x equals 1. And how about we try when x equals 7? All right, and again, we're just going to be approximating these points in my equation. So what I'll do is I'll just actually just take my equation. I'll take ln of, let's do 1 fifth. So ln of, neg of 1 fifth is going to be negative 1.61. If I do ln of 7 over 5, And I get ln of 0.366. So therefore, when x equals when x equals one, when x equals one, I have negative 1.61. So let's say that's one. That'd be two. And then when x equals seven, I'm at 0.366. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So you can see this graph is going to have a very, very sharp turn. And it's going to have an x-intercept at 5, 0. Not always at the x-intercept at 1, 0. And the reason why is because we're multiplying it by this value um, of 5. Okay. And that's what, you know, when it comes into that, that value, x divided by 5, what that's doing is that's actually expanding that graph. So therefore, now I'm going to have a new x-intercept. However, let's go and take a look at now how is my asymptote and everything else going to change. Well, my asymptote is still going to be at x equals 0. My domain is still going to be from 0 to infinity. And my range is still going to be at negative infinity to infinity. The only thing that changed is now my y inter or my x-intercept has now um, changed by it's been shifted over because the graph has um, expanded out. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you graph a natural logarithmic equation. Thanks.